Hello, welcome to Tales with Nana MJ. Um, this is actually intended for my two beautiful granddaughters, Amiya and Aria, but of course, anyone can watch. It would be, it'd be, make me very happy if anyone wanted to watch. Of course, it's, uh, we're gonna start with this book and there's several little stories in here. They're about five minutes each. So I'm going to read one of these today and today I will be reading Disney Bunny's Thumper's Nighttime Adventure. One beautiful day, Thumper was playing outside in the sunshine. As he was exploring the forest, he spotted his friend Dizzy, the opossum. Hiya, Thumper said. Want to come play? Dizzy yawned. Oh, um, that sounds fun, he said sleepily. But I'm getting ready for a nap. Maybe next time, okay. Okay, said Thumper, and he scampered off. Thumper and Dizzy had been friends for a while. So Thumper knew the opossum napped a lot during the day, but Dizzy really, would really rather sleep than play? Later, Thumper asked his papa, why is Dizzy always sleepy? Ah, said papa, well, he's not always sleepy. Opossums are nocturnal. That means they sleep a lot during the day. Then they are awake at night when we bunnies are sleeping. Papa led Thumper to a nearby cave. These bats are nocturnal too, papa said. Right now, they are getting ready to rest, but we spend most of the night flying outside, looking for food. Wow, thought Thumper, awake all night? No wonder Dizzy is so sleepy. That evening, as the bunnies chased fireflies, Thumper thought about what his father had said. Soon, Dizzy will be waking up, Thumper thought. I wonder what nocturnal animals do all night. When Thumper and his sisters hopped home for bedtime, Thumper thought about the exciting things he might miss while he was asleep. Did the bats play tag under the stars? Did the opossum family have midnight picnics? Before long, Thumper's sisters were sound asleep. Soon after, his mama and papa started to snore. Thumper was still wide awake. Slowly, silently, Thumper hopped to the burrow entrance and poked his head out into the cool night breeze. The moon was bright, the stars twinkled. Thumper went just outside the burrow and sniffed the air. He hopped a little further and sniffed again. Thumper knew he shouldn't go out without his parents' permission, but he couldn't stop thinking about the nighttime fun he was missing. Thumper's curiosity soon got the better of him, and he found it quickly down the path. Before Thumper knew it, he had hopped all the way to the opossum's favorite tree. Dizzy was very surprised to see Thumper. Shouldn't you be at home sleeping, he asked. Thumper giggled. <laughs> I came to see what other animals do at night, he said. I've never been out this late before. Well, Dizzy said, my family is just about to eat breakfast. Do you want to join us? So Thumper had a late night breakfast with the opossum family. They had the same blackberry Thumper usually ate during the day. I guess nighttime breakfast isn't so different after all, Thumper thought. After thanking the opossums, Thumper hopped away to find more nocturnal friends. As Thumper walked through the darkness, he was startled by a voice. Who's there? Fred Owl asked from a nearby tree trunk. It's Thumper. The bunny replied, would you like to play? I can't play. Looking for grass to fix up my nest, the owl said. Very busy night, you know. Can I look too, Thumper asked. Together they gather up dried grass for the inside of friend owl's nest. It was just like the grass on Thumper's bed. Thank you, friend owl called as he flew away. Thumper hopped down to the pond where he saw some skunks. What are you up to, Thumper asked. We are off to take a bath, said one skunk. Some animals think that skunks stink, said the second skunk. Not us, cried the third skunk. We take baths every night. The skunks walked over to the shallow edge of the pond where Thumper and his sisters took their baths too. Thumper could take a bath anytime, so he waved to the skunks and kept on hopping. On the far side of the pond, Thumper saw a mama duck with her ducklings snuggling together. Thumper yawned. <sighs> the ducks looked so warm and comfy and it was getting awfully late. Up in a tree, Thumper saw a squirrel and a chipmunk, sound asleep. They seem so peaceful and cozy. Hmm, thought Thumper. They don't seem worried about missing nighttime fun. Thumper stood, soon stood very still and listened to the sounds of the night. The crickets were chirping softly. Frogs were croaking down by the river. Now and then, wings fluttered through the darkness overhead. Thumper knew they were the sounds of nighttime animals all around. But they were also sleepy sounds. At that moment, all Thumper wanted to be was in his burrow, snuggled up with his family. 
Thumper hurried home. He hopped silently inside, expecting to find his family sleeping, just as he had left them. Instead, his sisters rushed to meet him, squeezing him from all sides. Oh, Thumper, exclaimed, exclaimed Daisy, we are starting to worry. Thank goodness you're back, cried Tessie. Mama and Papa had sterner words for Thumper. Daisy is right. We were very worried. You could have gotten hurt, Papa said. Papa was about to go out looking for you, Mama added. I'm sorry, Thumper said. He hadn't meant to worry them, but he knew he shouldn't have left without asking. I just wondered what it was like to be nocturnal. Papa patted Thumper's head. I understand that you were curious, but you must promise never, ever, ever go out in the night without permission again. I promise, Thumper said. Oh, the sister's so happy to see him. <laughs> Thumper's parents gave him an extra, gave him extra chores as punishment. He would have to find blackberries for dinner, gather some grass for the bunny's beds, and take his sisters to the bathing pond. As Thumper got ready for bed, he realized that doing chores was a little bit like his nocturnal adventure. He had eaten blackberries with the opossums, collected grass with his friend Owl, and visited the very clean skunks. I guess I wasn't missing anything after all, he said to himself. Even though his nighttime adventure had been exciting, nothing was better than snuggling down in his warm, cozy burrow for a good night's sleep. So that's it for this five-minute snuggle story. I hope you enjoyed it. All right, see you next time. Love you, girls.